Today, I found out that Nav is the lone wolf of rap music. I had to go through a tumultuous process to come to this conclusion, so make sure to watch the entire video and see that. Also, I need one of you to be my new subscriber so I'll finally have 100 subscribers. Thank you. Today, I am going to make a musical, no, musical? Can you imagine if I made a musical? I, I'm gonna make a reaction video to Nav's Angels Protected by Demons. Wait, who's protecting who? Who is protecting who? I need to know. Demons protected by angels. Now, there you have a conundrum. Demons protected from who? God? I don't know that much about demonology. I don't know a thing about demonology, but when you're talking about demons being protected by angels, I find it kind of sus. I find it kind of suspect. I mean, angels and demons are the ones being fight. I guess that's the point. Irony. It's, it's ironic. It's ironic. Irony is what musical artists like to aspire to a certain level of irony so that you can feel like you've made some kind of journey and discovered something and you know starting with the title with the title and you say already we're ironic here already we've got a level of irony going just within the title itself and you know going into this album that you're gonna see something <laughs> you better hope it's it's good. So that's a good title, man. Demons Protected by Angels. I'm curious. Is this a spirituality record? Is this a religious album? Is this a religious record? Can you buy this at a Christian bookstore? When I was a kid, my little brother convinced my mom that System of a Down was a Christian band because of the lyrics of Chop Suey and where he says, Why have you forsaken me? That's from the Bible. Anyways, is this a Christian album? Okay, here we go. The first song by Nav is called Count On Me. Nav? Is it Nav? Short for Navy, short for Navy, now. Get to where I'm gonna put myself through hell. Not the happiest person, but no Wow. 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 I'm impressed. I didn't know what to expect with this guy, Nav. Nav? I didn't know what to expect with you, but I can see now that you're a Canadian rapper. It's a singy rap. It's a singing type of rap. You know? Yeah. It's smooth. It's a, uh, you got a nice voice. The synthesizers. I got a little picture of Nav here. Gonna make him a little. Uh, his uh, torso is cut off here. It appears that they didn't get along in a photo for my project, so I'm just gonna extend it here with the old, the healing brush. So with Nav, we have, he's got a little bit of an ego. He's got a little bit of an ego. He, he thinks that he can't trust nobody but himself, and that may be true, but it shows that he has a little bit of an ego. You can always trust your family, can't you? Mom and dad, brothers, sisters. Those guys are people who you can trust. Not this guy, not Nav. Who's he gonna trust now? No one but himself. Okay, there we go. Check this out. He's a lot taller now. He's a lot taller. That's more like what I was looking like, but it, 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 um, it looks really kind of bad. So I'm going to use this, this healing brush. I don't know. And just make it look better. Whoa. But look, you got like five different arms here. That can't be right. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of looks like he's just got like a handbag now. <laughs> it's it's not a purse, it's a satchel. And he's got, this is a kind of cool design too down here. Don't, don't uh, don't knock this design. Look, we got, it says cook. And then down here it says cook. Over here it says cook and, and like, it's like kind of, what do you call it, distressed? Okay, song number two, baby. Let me hold some cash, can you cover the tab for me, baby? When my bills come. So I took this song quite literally. I uh, put a baby in here and the baby is going to be holding a stack of cash right there for him because my guy wanted a baby to hold a stack of cash for him, Nav. So here we go, we're gonna get that, we're gonna make that happen for Nav here. And you know, I'm just hoping that this, you know, this does the trick, this makes him happy. I don't know that, but we'll see. That's our baby with a stack of cash. Can you hold a stack of cash for me, baby? Yeah, yeah, I can hold 
give you a stack of cash, baby. That's $100 bills. This is like $20,000 right here. Is that enough for you, baby? No, it's never enough. It's never enough for you. He's got to do everything by himself. And not only that, he's got to give babies $20,000 every day so that they can just feel good about themselves. It's asking a lot of this guy. He's doing a lot of streams. Is he doing that many streams? Six billion global streams. How much do you get paid for a stream? Okay, let's go with a third of a cent. Let's see how much money that Nav has. 0.00, 000 million billion. 19 million dollars divided by divide that by 20,000 for all his babies. $20,000 a day. It's only going to last him 990 days. That's uh, you know, divide that by 365. It's only 2.7 years. So, this is a very unsustainable choice to be giving all of these babies, well, at least one baby $20,000 a day. It's a very unsustainable choice for Nav. I mean, let's say, uh, I, I, knock on, I don't want it to happen, but let's say Nav's next record doesn't do six billion streams, right? Everyone's not gonna be on top forever. Some people have fluctuations in their career. It's like a roller coaster. You gotta plan for the fluctuations. I think it would be much more. So what did we say, 19 million? 19 million, let's, uh, Let's say you give them $1,000 a day. There we go. Now I'm happy with that. That's going to last you uh, 19,000 days, divide by 365. That's uh, 52 years. That will last you your entire career and your life. And let's, I think we're going to be in the clear. So now uh, my recommendation is that you cut back your spending on the baby just a little bit. A, just cut it back a little bit. I'm, I'm just, just don't do the twenty thousand dollars every day. Instead, do a single thousand dollars for baby every day, and uh, you're gonna be able to last fifty-two years. Not twenty thousand dollars a day. This is too much. It's too. It's too. Too much. Let me write. We need a little reminder here. Too much. Too much. This is nice stuff. This is really smooth. It should be getting you six billion streams. Uh, just don't blow all that money on your baby. Song number three, Dead Shot. Shoot out with a vest, but that boy, he's still cutting. Oh! I like this one. Big stop. I just fucked his thought and I just hit him with that leg lock. Can I be honest about that song? I, uh, I liked it, but, uh, I did not expect Nav to be this violent. I thought he was kind of a family man over here with the baby, giving the baby's money. Here I am thinking this guy's a family man and uh, really he's got Uzis. He is. He's basically got a small army together. And so that's why I gave him an Uzi here. I hope he's just talking about using these Uzis, you know, at the range. Not, not taking them out on any other kind of skirmishes out here. I don't want to see any problems with the neighbors. There we go. We, you know, this is this is probably a little bit more honest of a of a photo for for Nav. We got we got Nav and his baby. He's got the money, but he's gonna cut down on the money there. Especially if you're out there buying Uzis, you're not gonna be able to then give twenty thousand dollars to your baby every day. So we'll give him the Uzi, but what we really do, you know, stress cut down on the the money to the baby next song nav and travis scott never sleep oh dude okay i gotta stop you right there never sleep never sleep never sleep never sleep it's not gonna work it's not gonna work out for you you never sleep if you never sleep you'll never you'll never dream and if you never dream you'll never grow you'll never do anything of any significance. You never sleep. If you never sleep, what's gonna happen to you? If you never sleep, I just can't recommend this. I just can't. There's nothing in, my, in me that enables me to recommend even continuing with this track. What if I listen to this track and then I can never sleep? I'll do it, but, but against my better judgment. Listen, sleep is, sleep is of paramount importance. I don't agree with this at all. 
better shop and she keep the receipts. Don't you tell him you can- That was a cool, cool little interlude at the end there. <laughs> Sounded cool. Never sleep, huh? Never sleep, huh? Gotta make these eyes a little bigger so you can tell what's going on here, but that's what happens when you never sleep. You never sleep. It's it's uh, one of the warning signs. When you never sleep is that, look at these eyes. Look, this must be, this must be fixed in post because if this guy never sleeps, right? Can have dark, dark circles on his eyes. Wow, look at those veins. They're getting really bloodshot in there. You know why? Because my guy, Nav, doesn't sleep. Wait, Freddy Krueger comes after you when you do sleep. Maybe you're not sleeping because you've got a Freddy Krueger problem. Is that it? Is that it? Nav, is Freddy Krueger coming after you? You know, you can speak out about this. You don't have to be alone. If you got a nighttime Freddy Krueger problem, if you have a nighttime Freddy Krueger problem and you can't sleep because Freddy Krueger keeps coming up into your dreams and telling you he's going to kill you, call 1-800-FREDDY-KRUEGER-PROBLEM, F-R-E-D-Y-C-R-U-G-E-R-P-R-B-L-M. That's too many numbers. Let's put a little Freddy Krueger in here, just a little Freddy Krueger. Oh my gosh, he's hideous. He's hideous. That's why you gotta have Uzis around, cause you got Freddy Krueger in there, and he's uh, he's not leaving you alone. You can't sleep at night. You got Uzis all around your bed, just to make sure you can take care of Freddy Krueger. Nav and his eyes and their bloodshot. This is reality here, guys. This is reality. If you want to follow in the footsteps of Nav, you're gonna have to have that Uzi. All right. Last of the Mohicans. I gotta take shit just to get in my zone When I'm thirsty I drink molly water just to get in that mode Fill up comments The Last of the Mohicans is a book by Joseph Anymore Cooper Is that what his name is? Joseph? I forgot There was a myth that Native Americans would be going away Assimilated, gone Nav is the last of the Mohicans He's saying he's, he's gonna be going away He's got threats to his life He's got Freddy Krueger coming after him, spending all this money on his baby. He's got to keep Uzis all around him. He, he himself, is the last of the Mohicans. He is the proverbial last of the Mohicans, not literally. There are 1,500 Mohicans living primarily in northeastern Wisconsin at this time. They never were extinct. Let's let that be a lesson for Nav. Even if, even if you think, sometimes you think everyone's against you and nothing's gonna work out for you. Even though something so crazy as genocide is on the line. Today we have Mohicans. Today we still have Mohicans. So let's give him a little hatchet as a reminder. He's holding a hatchet. Right? Tomahawk. Nav is one of these guys, one of these rappers who likes to talk about his weapons that he has. He likes to compare himself to the Mohicans, like, like he is a endangered race of people. He's the last one and he's praying to God to protect him. Is that what it is? He's a demon? He's the demon? He's the demon who needs to be protected by angels. Not literally a demon. He's a demon that needs to be protected by the angels. He's praying to God that he would be protected, but he knows that his lifestyle is unsustainable to the point that he's the very last of his own race. What's gonna happen here, Nav? What's gonna happen? You got your tomahawk. You got your Uzi. You're giving away money like it's the zombie apocalypse. Is that it? Is it the zombie apocalypse? Is that what we're dealing with, Nav? Let's go on, demon. Demons in my cup. <laughs> Demons in my cup. Demons in my cup. The guy is drinking demons. He's literally drinking demons to keep away all of this dangerous lifestyle. Puck. Riding around with sticks, baby. I slap shots like a puck. I'm staying away. Nav is conflicted. He's having problems with his identity. He is at one time praying that God 
would help him and save him and let him not be the last of the Mohicans. And at another time, directly after that time, putting demons in his cup and with ice and drinking them. Those things don't go together. Yet for Nav, it's his journey. It's his walk in life. It has led him to where he is today. He prays to God and he drinks demons. God's protecting you. God in his sovereignty is protecting you. So let me put an angel, this baby angel, but you're in luck because angels are way more powerful than demons. Again, I don't know much about angelology, demonology, just in my head, if I think about it, yeah, angels are way more powerful than demons. So all you need is this little baby angel. There you go, Nav, you got an angel. He's got flowers, he's got a flower crown. He's gonna put that flower crown on your head, it looks like. It looks like you're gonna have a flower crown. And you know what, that's probably, maybe that's enough. Maybe that's all you need. That's all you needed all this time, was just to have a flower crown on your head. And that would be enough to stop Mr. Fred Krueger from stopping you from having sleep. That's that's my thoughts. This is Nav and Gunna Playa. Gonna look what you did. Too many hoes to be showing me. Too many luggage. Too much of this dick. All right, I'm proven wrong again. Here we have Nav and Gunna, and Nav is not only a killer and someone who's such a hustler that he doesn't sleep. He's got a baby that he pays a lot of money to. He's got angels and demons but he's also a player. He's a player, he's a playa, if you will. And he plays the women. He slips in the DMs and he plays them. So I guess we gotta give him a little, uh, a woman. What would that look like? Okay, here she is. Here's the woman in between the angel and the demon. That's not really good. <laughs> there she is. She's represented in there. He's got an angel on his right shoulder. He's got a demon on his left shoulder. He's paying babies way too much money. And he's got a woman on his mind. This is my guy, Nav. That's only been eight songs. There are 19 songs. Okay, just going on a limb here. This album's too long. It's fun, it's good, it's a nice record. It's got some good songs on it. I love that song, Deadshot. Deadshot, best song. There's too many songs. I'm gonna listen to one more song, last song. Uh, wrong Decisions. It's got an official video. I've never heard it. It's gonna be the last song. It's the last chance to see what's what's going on with this record and what should I draw to, 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 to tie this all together because we've got a mess here. Okay, that's a little, little Neo Soul, little soul vibes in this. We got the soul chords, soulful. Sure. He had to get it all by himself. He didn't have a choice and he's got nobody around. At the end of the day, he made it to the mountaintop and nobody to enjoy everything that he's gained. What a tragedy. For long list, making hits I just know I won't miss. Take my words and they twist them on the block. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Nav is it's not about the demons. It's not about the angels. It's not about the women. It's not about the babies with the money. It's not about the Uzis. It's not about the tomahawks. It's not about any of that stuff. What it is about is it's about Nav. Let's see. Nav. That's what it's about. That's what this record's about. Okay? Everything that I've done up to this point has been completely pointless because this is what I really need to do for this picture to really represent this album is this. He made it to the top by himself. He got there. He's on the mountaintop. He has no one to enjoy it with. Can't trust nobody. It's Nav. Nav is the lone wolf. Nav is the lone wolf. He's a loner. He's a lone wolf. He's the music, he's music's lone wolf. He had to do it all by himself. He had to do it all by himself. He didn't have a choice. We made him a lone wolf by ignoring him, by not working with him and not understanding him and all of his peers and his family and his friends, no one would help him. He had to do it all by himself and that made him into 
a completely lone wolf. He's the lone wolf. Forget all the money, forget all the women and the angels and the demons. Beyond all that stuff, if you look really past it, this record is about Nav and how he's a lone wolf. That's what I think of Nav, this record. It's good. He's a good musician. Thanks for watching.